Hi, my name is Amanda Silver, and I'm Director of Program Management for the team that creates Visual Studio's Tools for Client Applications. Today, I want to share some new features with you that will allow you to use the power and productivity you've come to love in Visual Studio to build mobile applications across iOS, Android, and Windows devices. What I'm talking about today is the development tools to build client applications. But modern mobile apps are much more than just creating a responsive, touch-enabled client. The best applications are connected, kept up to date, and deliver engaging experiences to their end users. Microsoft offers a complete stack solution to build your mobile applications to help you build rich experiences that includes push notifications, secure authentication, real-time updates, and connectivity to common software-as-a-service platforms, along with comprehensive DevOps tools to facilitate a rapid release cadence. Let's dig into the different approaches for building a mobile app. There are two common approaches to building mobile applications, native and web. Developers using the native platform technologies create native apps for each device by using the tools provided by each mobile vendor, Xcode and iOS, Android developer tools for Android, and Windows Universal apps based on WinRT. But these developers often struggle with the ability to reuse code and skills across devices, especially considering that the average developer ends up targeting more than two mobile platforms. Developers also use web technologies to create browser-based applications optimized for mobile browsers. As the browser is constrained, developers struggle with the ability to create applications that can leverage the full capabilities of the devices they target. They also often want to make their apps available in the public app store. The path of a mobile app developer often begins with a choice. Develop for iOS, Android, or Windows. It's a choice that instantly diminishes the size of your potential audience, but developers often hold their nose and reluctantly make a decision. Those who need to reach all three app stores have to rewrite the application for each platform. Visual Studio enables you to have maximum reach while achieving significant code reuse. With Xamarin, c -sharp developers can share business logic across iOS, Android, and Windows applications. With Apache Cordova, web developers can achieve maximal code reuse by building cross-platform mobile applications using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Xamarin and Visual Studio allows you to create rich native apps across multiple platforms, Windows, iOS, and Android, while maximizing code reuse. With Xamarin, you can build fully native apps with immediate access to device capabilities. You can build highly customized experiences per device with fully native user interfaces, so you can deliver the best UX and performance in the devices. 100% of the native APIs are exposed, so everything you can do with Xcode or ADT, you can do with .NET and Visual Studio. Now let's take a look at the Xamarin demo. With the Xamarin extension for Visual Studio, c -sharp now has templates to target Android and iOS. As you can see here in this solution, I've already created an app that targets both Android and iOS, as well as Windows. As you can see up here, a bunch of the application is actually defined inside of a portable class library, which allows me to get dramatic amount of code sharing across the different applications. In fact, even my view models are shared across the different applications, so I really only have the very thinnest presentation tier defined for iOS and Android. To create a portable class library, we can just go in and go to the properties, and as you can see with the Xamarin extension, I can target Android and iOS for those portable class libraries, and that's how we get the high degree of sharing. Now we can go into the Android application, and if we go into an example file here, uh, let's say we go into the views, we go into the vehicle detail view, you can actually see that you know, I now get IntelliSense for Android. Additionally, as you can see, we for the iOS application, I can even go in and get a common storyboard design experience. So as you see here, this is like a normal uh, Visual Studio drag and drop kind of WYSIWYG designer that's part of the Xamarin extension for Visual Studio. If we zoom out, you can actually see that this is much more than just a one screen design experience. We actually have the entire storyboard defined out here for the entire application. So let's just go ahead and deploy the application to the device that I have tethered to the machine that's running Visual Studio. Now we can see that it's building. 
and it's actually in the process of being deployed now. Now you can see the two screens kind of side by side. You can see the debug output actually coming through to Visual Studio. And you can actually see that it's like a, an Android um, experience. The navigation is along the top. I can go ahead and hit the Chevy Volt. And you can see that I actually hit a breakpoint in Visual Studio. And then I can just go ahead and continue it. And you can see that the application paints. And we can see what's running on the Android device here. I can go ahead and request that. And you can see that the vehicle has been requested. So we get the entire uh, debugging experience in Visual Studio for an Android device. With Xamarin, you can create UI with drag and drop simplicity, target multiple screen sizes, resolutions, and OS platform versions. You have the world's best Android designer available in Visual Studio, and the layouts are saved in native resource formats. When you build with Xamarin, you don't have to compromise on performance. On iOS, Xamarin performs full ahead-of-time compilation to produce an ARM binary. On Android, it takes advantage of the just-in-time compilation on the Android device. Visual Studio tools for Apache Cordova allow you to create a single hybrid app for iOS, Android, and Windows with your skill set and web standards, HTML, JavaScript, CSS. Apache Cordova is an open source project that provides a set of device APIs that allow a mobile app developer to access native device functionality, such as the camera, native telephony, or even a barcode scanner from JavaScript-based APIs. It also mostly abstracts away the platform-specific packaging for each of the native mobile operating systems. Through our partnership with the Apache Cordova community, we've contributed several updates to the framework in the last few months including support for Windows Universal projects, support for platform-specific configuration settings, and security updates, which benefit all target platforms. We're working with the industry-wide community of contributors to ensure Apache Cordova is enterprise ready. Now let's jump to the Tools for Apache Cordova demo. With Visual Studio 2015, we have templates for Apache Cordova applications under both JavaScript and TypeScript. In this case, I've created a Apache Cordova application using TypeScript. So as you can see, the application file is defined using TypeScript. But in addition to that, I'm using common JavaScript frameworks like Angular, Bootstrap, jQuery, etc. And if I expand the Angular folder, you can actually see that the Angular file is defined with JavaScript. So I'm actually using a mix of JavaScript and TypeScript in this application. The other thing that's specific to Apache Cordova projects is the config.xml. And as you can see here, I have a common app manifest, uh, which defines the common properties for the application. But then I also have plugins. Now, plugins are the way that you access native device capabilities like the battery, camera, device orientation, etc. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to actually deploy the application to the VS emulator for Android. Once the application has been deployed to the device, Visual Studio actually attaches in a debug mode. And this will happen for both a tethered device and an emulator, but in this case we're using the emulator. I can now use the select element to just select something that's on my application. And you can see that the DOM Explorer actually gets updated to reflect my selection. I can go back here and just click Edit as HTML, and instead of saying Start Service, I can just make that say Start and take my cursor off and you can see that it actually updates live. Then I can just click Start, and you can actually see that we hit a breakpoint. And as you can see down here, we have full call stack information, including anonymous function. We have complete locals and autos window, basically the entire debugging experience that you've come to expect in Visual Studio you have for Apache Cordova mobile applications. Visual Studio 2015 has new templates to create Apache Cordova apps. The tools are built on top of the existing great HTML, CSS, and JavaScript support in Visual Studio, but integrates with Apache Cordova. So you have things like IntelliSense support for Cordova plugins, can build for any targeted platform, and run and debug the app on a device emulator or a remote device. The cool thing about these tools is that you will naturally know how to use it if you're familiar with web development. It also supports the most popular JavaScript frameworks that you're probably already using for your mobile web applications, such as Angular, jQuery Mobile, or Backbone. 
You can also create these apps with TypeScript, an extension to JavaScript which supports the productivity and scale of statically typed languages, which is very handy for apps that can get very complex. New in this preview, you can create shared C++ components that will work across iOS, Android, and Windows and complement with the presentation tier written in Xamarin or Cordova. You can also run existing native C++ apps and attach the Visual Studio debugger. Now let's take a look at the C++ demo. With the cross-platform C++ support in Visual Studio, you can see that you can actually create an Android application, uh, either an Android application that's entirely C++, or you can define a static or shared library that you could then use in an application that has a front-end defined in Xamarin, Cordova, or even Java. In this case, we've defined an application that's using OpenGL, and as you can see, I've set a breakpoint here. I could either deploy it to the emulator, or in this case, you can see that I'm going to deploy it to a tethered device. So now we can see that the application is running here. I can go ahead and actually just zoom out. And then I can even just set a breakpoint. And you can see that I actually hit that breakpoint. And then if I remove the breakpoint and just go ahead and continue here, you can actually see that we go ahead and run that again. And if I set the breakpoint again, you can see that we hit it, and we have the full call stack, breakpoints, exception setting, and all of the locals and watch windows that you expect in Visual Studio, but against an Android device running OpenGL. As a developer, you need to build applications that support multiple platforms, can integrate with on-premises information systems and cloud-based services, as well as automatically scale globally as your business and audience grow. With Azure App Service, you can rapidly build, deploy, and manage web and mobile apps for employees or customers using a single backend. App Service is an integrated solution that streamlines development while enabling easy integration with on-premises and SaaS systems while providing the ability to quickly automate business processes. Azure App Service brings together the capabilities from Azure Websites, Azure Mobile Services, and Azure BizTalk Services into a unique integrated offering while adding powerful new features. You can use your existing language skills in .NET, Java, Node.js, PHP, or Python. If you've ever done cross-platform development, you know that compilation for each platform requires a litany of open source and platform-specific components. Building for Android requires Ant, Java, and the Android SDK. Deploying to iOS devices requires specific software. Windows requires the Windows SDK. After all is said and done, there are over a dozen toolchain dependencies that can take hours, even days, to properly download, install, and configure. Visual Studio will get you up and running quickly with a well-configured dev environment and help you stay that way. Visual Studio 2015 also includes a brand new Android emulator that is trustworthy and fast. This is where you can get the downloads and extensions that will help you start building mobile apps across iOS, Android, and Windows with Visual Studio. You can also use these resources to learn more about TypeScript, Azure App Service, and follow along as we deliver updates. Thanks.